Greetings RC fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage. Um, so, C24 is coming. The first round of the C24 crawler competition is on the 7th of January at Grafham um, Sailing Club. Um, I am signed up to attend and I am using the FCX24 Max Smasher as the basis of my build but it needs some work doing. So um, I love this blue body. I don't want to mess it up. So I need to change the body. Um, I need to try and get hold of a metal set of these. These are the lockers that need to go in the front and rear axles to um, improve that. But let's get into it. But before we do all that, can you make sure you do the usual things like comment and subscribe? Right, let's get into the meat and bones of this. So this is my um, C24 build using the FCX24 Max Smasher as the basis. Um, it's the version 1.1, so it means that I have got the ability to change my um, trail braking. Uh, it's currently set to off, which is why these two switches are here. Um, so let's alter the angle and let's get you a better angle. Right, so uh, what do I need to do? First off, I need to switch over to locked front and rear axles, um, which I'm going to do with these. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to strip down the whole of the front and rear to do that. I mean, the rear looks like it's going to be fairly easy to do. The front is going to be a pain because I'm going to have to strip everything down to do that. So let's just pop the body off. because we're going to talk about body options as well. Um, and we're going to talk about tires. So, so this is what it looks like underneath. Um, it's not going to run like that. Um, I love this body, but I think we need something a little bit more suitable for the comp. Um, so, what are my options? Well, um, I picked up this 124th scale FTX Outback 3 uh, body a while back, which I just would need to find a way to mount, which doesn't look, let's have a look, doesn't look too bad. Um, I'd probably need to get it painted as you know, blue, um, but that looks quite cool. Um, and again, fits in with me. Um, the other option is I picked up this um, Range Rover Sport 124th scale 27. Um, it's basically a toy grade one, but it has got a really nice body. Hard body, lights, which could be sorted out to run. And I think that might be a winner. I just need to work out how to I'll just sit. It's not going to sit right, quite right. But let's see if we can pop the back up somehow. see yeah so I think that will look quite sexy I just need to work out how to mount it um, and then this of course can be painted up so I'll probably talk to Keldon about that or for the first one I may just run it white but I quite like the fact that it's a hard body um, I quite like the look of it um, and I think it again will be a bit different. Um, so that may be the option I go for. Um, I also did pick up this, which is a LCG 124th chassis. So I could strip everything off there, mount it onto here and run this. 
this is an option for the future. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I don't think I'm going to do that for the first comp. Now that I've got this and with as capable as this is, um, and that's even, I mean, you probably now have seen the video that I filmed when I unboxed this and how it climbed with unlocked and with these tires on, which are not ideal. Um, so yeah, um, that um, that may be, you know, um, it, it, it's. I think it's going to be capable enough like that. And I think, I mean, obviously with decent tyres on it, not these. Although the monster truck look with the Land Rover does look quite cool. So that's that. Tyre options. So these um, for C24, we are limited to a one inch hub. Um, let's open these up. So I just grabbed a ruler and you can see that these are one inch and they're glued. But obviously an awful lot smaller than what are on there at the moment. Um, so they have got a really good compound they are glued so i don't have any worries about them so they're an option to run uh, that i've got um, but what i'm likely to do is i have this which is my um ftx outback texan, texan mini that was gifted to me uh, last year um, the interesting thing about this is that it has really good tyres on it on a one inch. They're considerably bigger than those. And smaller than the ones that are on there and obviously narrower um, but obviously I can't run this chassis in the comp but what I can do is run those tires so what I'm probably going to do is switch those tires over onto there and I may even put these onto the Texan because I think that will look pretty awesome. So that's the plan that we're going to run it stock, locked on these. I will take these with me just in case. Um, probably with this body on, but I have to do some work. Ooh, nice speckle top there. I like that. Um, yeah, so I have some work to do um, to make it work. Um, and that's the plan. Um, any of you taking part in C24, um, drop me down in the comments section what you're doing, what you're running, things like that. Um, very interested to hear. Um, who else is going to the first round um, at Grafham on the 7th of January? Be very, very interested in that. Right, so I have quickly mocked it up. I haven't put those in yet, but I have put the tyres off of the Texan Mini on. Um, they're a bit bigger than these others. Um, I've used one of those to uh, thing, but I think that looks pretty good. Just need to work out how to mount the body fully. I think that's going to look pretty good. I'll need to talk to Keldon, I think, because I think he can probably come up with a solution. Something to work off the back end here and have that and something off the front. Um, so that we're not adjusting the C24 chassis but yeah it covers the chassis rails it covers all of that 
and I think it looks pretty pretty good on that I mean yeah okay it could sit a little bit lower but it's limited at the front because of where the electronics are so this is my rig for C24 now um, had a little bit of an issue mocking something else up um, because these here are smaller than the ones on there which means the long wheel wrench on that will not work but so I don't have a wheel wrench or a nut wrench long enough to set these properly there's only one that's kind of on but how sexy does that look on those tires I mean okay there's if turning wise it's going to rub and stuff like that but my lord does this I'm trying to keep all the wheels on look sexy so fms if you're listening do a power wagon body do a long bed power wagon body like this with a back to go on to the the thing i mean the standard ones i mean uh, but again i love the way that this texan sits anyway so it's enough about that this is what we the which is my c24 build and I think I'm definitely going to go for this body. I just got to work out how to mount it and then tune it and get the hang of it. So that's it for today. Don't forget to do the usual things like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all again soon.